does anybody else have a piece of jewelry or an article of clothing or a lipstick or something that when you put it on, you just feel like you have upgraded your attitude, your aura, whatever it is you want to call it, to like the next level? For me, that is this necklace. And I forgot that I owned this necklace for so long, but in recent videos, you've probably seen me wearing it more and more. It's one of those necklaces. It's from Bobble Bar from like years ago. And in my shopping history, there have only been two instances where there has been something I have encountered either online or in a store that I could not stop thinking about. One was my green jacket, like my fashion jacket from White House Black Market. It was $140. I could not stop thinking about this jacket. And I finally decided because I've been thinking about it for two weeks to go back to the store and buy it and spend the $140 on it. Best purchase I've ever made in terms of fashion. And the other one was this necklace. The other one is this necklace and it's from bobblebar.com and I saw it and I could not stop thinking about it and now I've jacked it up because I keep playing with it. And I finally said, you know what? Fine, I'm going to buy it. And I did and I loved it when I first got it. It's got the bling, it's pointy so it's a little bit edgier and I wear it and then I put it in my jewelry box and forgot about it and then since I found it, I've been putting it on every time I need that little extra oomph in the morning and it works every single time. Let me know in the comments below if you have something that works like that for you. Anyway, today's video is not about jewelry or fashion at all. It is about my goals for the month of August. I cannot believe it's August. August's approach is going to be a little bit different and I'll tell you about that. But first, we're going to get into how I did for the month of July. As per usual, I use the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets for all of my goal planning needs. I love them. I've used this system since 2014 and I will continue to use this system going forward. I love it. So here is my tending list for the month of July. As I mentioned, I was going to rip it out of the actual book that's right here and put it in a place where I could always see it and I did just that. And because I did that, these were always within my line of sight and therefore mentally and subconsciously a bigger priority for me than they have been in the past. And if you can't tell, look at all those filled in progress bars, y'all. July was a relatively productive month in terms of achieving the things I wrote down and set out to do. So let's do a quick little rundown of what's on this list, shall we? My monthly action items for the month of July, I achieved almost all of them. And the the only reason I didn't fully achieve them is because I got distracted by one that I added at the bottom. First, game night. Plan one, execute one. We did that just the other day and it was lovely. We went to our friend's house, played a game that my husband had been wanting to play for a really long time with more than just me. Fun times were had by all. Plan a date night. I did that as well. So for me, we try and do date nights every single week. And once a month, we each take turns planning a date night for the other person. I did that. It was lovely. Catch up on the show Schmigadoon. We did do that. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you are a music theater nerd. I loved every second of that show. Seriously, it's so good. It's on Apple TV+. Plus chef's kiss. I cannot wait. I really, really hope that there's going to be a third season and a fourth season and a fifth season because I love it. Audition prep and audition. Done, done, and accepted into the thing I auditioned for. It was a great month for that. I did, I mean, the audition prep was not a whole lot of prep, and I am very, very blessed in that my musical skills apparently don't go anywhere even when I'm not using them. I, for the first time in, I counted, 18 years 18 years, I went to audition that for a choir that required me to audition with tonal memory, where the person plays a series of notes on the piano and I recite, I sing them back to her. Uh, sight singing, where you are given a line of music and you're supposed to sing it. Here's the first note, ding, and you sing the entire thing without anyone playing with you. You have to sing it, know the intervals, all the things. Um, I managed to pull those both off beautifully, somehow, by the grace of God, I, I did that. Um, the audition went so well and I was immediately accepted into the chorale that I auditioned for. And I'm so, so very excited to be given the opportunity to make glorious music with a choir of really talented women every single week from now until mid-November. It's going to be wonderful. Rehearsals start on August 14th. I am pumped. And my friends, that thing, achieving that one singular thing and getting into this chorale actually achieves one of my annual goals, which was find a way to perform music outside of worship team at church. And so I now have that. So I can actually say one of my annual goals for the year of 2023 
is done. Use up 10 things. I did in fact do that. It was, you know, a moisturizer, a cleansing balm, a lip product, a mascara, a, a shower gel. I finished one of my foundations. It's been a month of using things up and that has felt really, really good. Batch week my content. I did do that and that felt really good. Did I batch week as much content as I would have liked to? No, but I did do a batch week. I do need to plan another one. Now that I'm thinking about it in real time, I'm like, oh gosh, I should make sure that I plan another batch week. Um, and yes, I really need to do that. And then my last three were finishing three books that I had started. The first was Change Maker, and I did finish that. Read Good Food, Bad Diet. I did that. I used an audiobook to do that, and it was worth it. It was a great read, listen, whatever you want to call it, but I did, in fact, consume that book. And then the book Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm 50% of the way through only because I was given a book by a friend from Bible study called You Are the Girl for the Job by Jess Connolly, and I dropped the other book to pick up and read this book, and I'm about two thirds of the way through this book. So in total, I have consumed a third book, but I am technically in the middle of two Two books right now. So the first objective for my reading goal for next month is to finish the books that I am in the middle of now. If I apply myself, I should be able to have both of those done by the end of this week, which is today is Monday when I'm filming this. So all in all, monthly action items, not too shabby. Weekly action items, date night we did in some way, shape, or form every single week. Watch a musical. We only did that once, which makes me sad, but we've been prioritizing other things. Our social calendar has been filling up. We've been going out doing things, which is also really, really great. Meal planning. I've done that every week, and it's amazing to me how much more efficient everything runs during the week when you plan out and prep your meals. Ha! Huh, imagine that. Lift heavy things three times. I cannot say that I lifted heavy things three times at all in a week during the month of July. I lifted once, I've lifted twice, but never three times. So we are modifying that goal for the month of August. And then take a Sabbath day. I've been taking like Sabbath weekends and it has been glorious and that will continue. Daily action items, no spend, did brilliantly. I think there's two, two dashes on here of me buying something other than what was intended, you know, replacing things, groceries, whatever. Step bet goal. I achieved the step bet goal every single day. I won the step bet. I made a whole 62 cents. So I'm like, you know, are doing step bets really worth it? I don't know, especially now in my current season of intuitive eating and joyful movement and all of that. It's going to be a while before I do a step bet again, but I did it. I achieved it. It's done. Listen to my hunger and fullness cues. I did brilliantly on this until I hit PMS last week. And for about a week now, the fullness cues, the satisfaction cues, I have been less willing to listen to slash more along the lines of like, it's not about satisfaction, it's more about am I feeling full? Um, so I still have in the hormonal fluctuation times of the month, I still have a lot of learning to do, a lot of figuring out what my body really needs to do. But now that I'm off of ant flow, I'm going back to for this month, of course, listening, like really trying to hone in on listening to those signals and embracing that thing, right? Like that part, that element, that principle of intuitive eating. HB90 schedule, I did about 50% of the time. This month I've got big goals for accomplishing things at work. So we'll, we'll continue with that. Read 10 pages. I did every day except one. I sat down and I read every single day, which was lovely. And then social media business hours, I did about 50% of the time. There were some days where I had no regard for not being on social media after hours. And then there were some days that I was like, I don't want to be on social media really at all. And so I barely opened the apps. And those days were glorious. I want to start having more of those days. But that, of course, is a process that I'm currently working through. All right, friends, here we go. Buckle up. We've got a different kind of approach for a lot of things for the goals for the month of August. I did not color code this month. I had a hard time really coming up with things this month because of the different way that I want to approach things. So here's the Cliff Notes version. If you've ever heard of human design, I am a generator. I learned this about myself this month. And quite frankly, it makes a lot of sense. I'm not going to get into what all of that means. Um, if you want to look it up, knock your socks off. But human design generator, that is what I am. In a nutshell, generators do not, they're not meant to initiate ideas and things and whatever, like use their brains. They're meant to use their guts. They're meant to respond to the opportunities and environments that happen around them. And in my life, this has proven to be very, very true. I've never thought about it before, but it has absolutely been true. Every good thing, every positive 
career moving, um, opportunity moving thing that has happened in my life is something that was presented to me, something that I responded to, not an idea I came up with myself. For example, coaching. Coaching came about naturally because you, my YouTube community, kept giving me messages of like, hey, you'd be a really good coach. Hey, have you ever considered coaching? I responded to that call. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. And so I learned kind of a little bit more about what it's like to do life as a generator. And as such, especially in my daily tasks, they are much more generator driven than to do list task oriented driven. So that being said, let's get into monthly, daily, weekly action items. My monthly action items. This is <laughs> this one's going to sound ridiculous. OK, it's going to sound absolutely ridiculous, but it's going to work for me, especially if I do it right. I wrote down glam office project. Why did I do that? Well, I have been re-watching a show that I find to be incredibly motivating and inspiring to me. And again, this is going to sound ridiculous, but just bear with me. I've, I started re-watching the show called The Bold Type which is a show about young ladies in their 20s working at Scarlet Magazine, which is a fashion magazine, right? It's very sex in the city, okay? And they're in New York and they're they're figuring out their lives in while all working at this fashion magazine. Apparently my alter ego, in some other universe somewhere, my alter ego is this 20-something woman in the fashion industry who's working in a magazine, a publication, right? Something that's still um, content being created and consumed, but in a different venue, in a different medium. And so for whatever reason, I find a lot of motivation when I see like the girls walk into the office and I'm like, dang, what would it be like to have that cool, like really glamorous, high level, high vibe feeling place that you go to work to every morning? How freaking awesome, right? And it's more, it's about more than that. I love watching, looking at their clothes and the way that they style themselves and carry themselves and behave and all of those things. And I find it to be very motivating and very inspiring for me. And so I had the thought of like, what if I could make a couple of tweaks, a couple of changes to my office, primarily like clean cleaning, decluttering, like, but like next level and making it feel a little bit more high vibe and glam a la Scarlet Magazine. And I know it kind of sounds ridiculous, but in my mind, I was like, if I could come up here every day and be like, hmm, bougie day at work, let's go, let's create the content, let's get it done and feel a little bit glam and high level when I do that, um, what could it hurt, right? So my, my, house goal, my, my environment goal for the month is going to be my glam office project. What does that mean? No freaking idea, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> Another thing that happened to me this past month is I had an intuitive eating realization. I had the realization that it no longer mattered that I had cookbooks without nutrition information in them. Mind boggling. I know healthy, delicious, nourishing cookbooks, but none of which had calories or macros or any nutrition information to speak of. And I somehow realized that like now that I'm intuitive eating and I'm not tracking anymore, I don't need nutrition information. Therefore, I can finally start to freely, openly cook from these cookbooks that I've had. So I have quite a few try recipes from X. We're going to try a recipe from the blog, Half Baked Harvest, which I have cooked from before. A, a recipe from the book, Rise and Run, which is an athlete's runner's breakfast book. By the same people, I wanna try a recipe from the book, Run Fast, Eat Slow. I wanna do a recipe from the Be Well by Kelly books, Body Love and Body Love Every Day. So are we racking it up? So far I'm at five, five different recipes. And then I have the Passionate Penny Pincher meal planning systems that I got for Christmas, I bought myself for Christmas, have not used them yet. And actually I'm going to be doing that today. So we're gonna knock that one out right away. Super excited. But because I no longer need to concern myself with the exact macronutrients of a recipe, just the overall health and nutrition content, um, I can cook out of all of these things freely and without worry, which is wonderful. So it's cooking a whole bunch of different recipes are my goals for the month. And then also reading. I'm going to read two books and listen to one audiobook. And then I have two business goals this month. The first one is to do the power sheets for my business. I have a second set of power sheets and I've been using them to set goals for my YouTube channel, my business, things of that nature. I don't share what's on here very often, but I do have these task lists that I need to do for my business this month. So one of my goals on here is to complete the task list on here and then get my new channel ready to launch. If you haven't heard by now, I am launching a new channel. The link to it will be down below. It is a lot of the same 
type of content, lifestyle content, nutrition, health, well-being, and things of that nature, but all through the lens of living life with a disability. And I'm very, very excited. It's called The Disabled Diva. I cannot wait to get started. If you want to be one of my first subscribers and support me and really get things going for me, and of course be the first to know when things launch, go ahead and click the link down below to subscribe to that channel. Those are my monthly action items. Weekly action items, I have two things. Weekly planning time, I want to sit down every week on the weekend or maybe even on Friday if I'm being really proactive about it, and just make sure that all of my planners, both digital and paper, are up to date with everything that I need for the week ahead. So at least if I have a little bit of a plan, then I can, you know, sit, wake up on Monday and feel like I know what I'm doing instead of having to sit down on Monday and be like, okay, what does this week look like? And then I have lift weights one to four times in a week, which means I get my check mark if I do it at least once. But the ultimate goal would be the ideal goal, the perfection goal would be four times a week. So as long as I do it at least once, but anytime one to four times a week lifting weights, I earn my check mark for the week. See what I did there? I made it an attainable goal. Imagine that. Okay, my daily action items are gonna sound really funky to some of you and that's okay. But it's all stemming from, like I said earlier, that whole generator type human design thing where I create energy, I have to find satisfaction, all of those things. So my only daily action items are to generate energy in some way, shape or form, that will typically be by doing things, moving my body. That is how one generates energy. And the more energy I generate, the more I'm living within my generator type alignment. So we're gonna generate energy every day, create something every day. Right now, I get to check this off today because I am creating content for you. That is awesome. I can create dinner. I can create a recipe, bake something new. I can create with my glam office project. There's a lot of ways, a lot of methods I can use to do that creation energy, but I want to create something in some way every day. I want to do something that is satisfying every single day. That is when um, generators are in most alignment. It is when they are doing something that is satisfying to them. And that can be something that like cleaning the house. Today I have big goals to clean the house. Why? Because that will be very satisfying to me. It's not necessarily a fun and joyful thing for me, but the result of exerting that energy creates something that's very satisfying to me. A clean house, a clean kitchen, a nice smelling room, things of that nature. So doing something that satisfies me every single day and then do something that brings me joy every single day. And here's what's magical about those four things. One thing can technically be all four of those things at once. So there can be days where one particular activity knocks all four of those out for me. And then there can be other days where I do something different to create, generate joy and satisfaction. I, I, they could be four different items, they can be the same item, and each day will look different, which I think is just so cool. And it's just a way for me to lean into my energy and the way that I work a little bit differently. I'm just trying it out, I'm just gonna try and see what happens, see if it helps me maintain a higher level of energy, motivation, and stamina, or if it doesn't. So I will keep you posted as I lean into this generator-ness for the month of August. And that's it, those are my goals for the month of August. Let me know in the comments below what some of your goals for the month are. I, for one, am super excited. There's a lot happening in the month of August and I want to be on top of it and get, get the most out of this month that I can. I hope you all are well, having a wonderful summer. Stay cool, be well, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later, bye.